Hey, Marnie. I hope it's not too late. Hi, Ian. Uh, no, no. Come on in. I uh, heard about Wade's. How did you hear? Well, you know, people talk. Oh. I got some uh, beer, and I thought maybe you'd want a little bit of a break. <sighs> Thanks, Ian. That's really sweet of you. You know, if we lived next door to each other all these years, I, it's the first time I've been inside your house. Really? I'm sure you must have. Nope. This is the first time. It's a very nice home. Have a seat. Marnie, let me just say up front that I'm awfully sorry for your loss, and I hope they catch the bastard. I still can't believe it. The most ordinary kid I've ever known would never hurt an animal. Kids these days, they don't quite understand them. And to hurt a defenseless little animal. I'm sorry, Ian. Yeah, I know it's just a dog, but I'm a mess. Hey, quit that. It was a terrible, terrible thing. Yeah, I completely understand. How long have you lived here? Maybe four years now. Yeah, it's three years before I had to put down Charlie. I'm so sorry. I don't have to sound sentimental, but after I lost my wife, uh, Charlie was all I had left. What happened? Well, Charlie being half pit bull, I, he'd get riled up sometimes and he had this weird thing for wheels. He'd bark at loud cars that would go by our house. You know, one morning I was getting the paper and he slipped by me and went charging down the lawn. And at that very moment, a little girl, she was probably seven, eight. I remember she was wearing a pink helmet. She was riding her bike in front of the house and Charlie being the dog he was, he started barking at her and scared the hell out of her and she veered into a tree and had a pretty bad spill. And they said that Charlie bit her, which was the biggest sack of horse shit I ever heard. I mean, he was wild and loud. But he didn't have a mean bone in his body. That judge banged her gavel and made me put him down. Yeah. Cute little girl versus scary big pit bull. Yeah, he didn't have a chance. Oh my God. Ian, that's a terrible story. I am so sorry. Poor Charlie, he didn't know any better. I mean, you really can't change the way you are, you know. It's, it was my fault letting him out. I mean, you can blame me, but to make a man put his own dog down? That's awful. So, uh, wait, uh, that's a good name for a dog. How'd you come up with that? Mm. Tom Waits, the singer. Mm. Never heard of him. <laughs> you gotta check him out. Um, here, I think you'd really like him. We can start with this one. That's my favorite. Swordfish trombones. Oh, it's an interesting title. <laughs> <laughs> so what's with the ducks? I don't know. Um, I guess ducks were like the first animal I ever saw and got up close with. My little brothers and sisters were always so scared and intimidated by them. I would always get real close to them. They're just like these free little creatures. I like the fact that they come and go, but always return home. But uh, this uh, collection here, I don't know. I guess when word gets out that you like ducks, well, everyone starts giving you little rubber duckies for Christmas and duck blankets and, you know, I'm 
sorry. I think you should go. You know, Marnie, I uh, know it sounds strange and I don't quite understand it myself. But I deeply, truly love you. Not always, but I see you so frequently, I, I look forward to seeing you again. And you're a very kind person and I care for you very much. Very much. <laughs>